All right, what's going on guys, it's Chad, and welcome back, possibly for the final time, to Friday the 13th, the game. So yesterday, the Friday the 13th Twitter ended up posting this here. Right, I looked over it for a moment in my video yesterday where I was reacting to Summer Game Fest. By the way, check that out if you haven't seen it. Lots of upcoming games, and it's likely I'm going to be playing the majority of them whenever they come out. The time has come. Our license for Friday the 13th will expire on December 31st, 2023. On that date, Friday the 13th, the game will no longer be available for sale, both physically and digitally. After the end of this year, you just can't even buy the new game there will not be new people at that point it's just whoever has it the game will however continue to function through at least december 31st 2024 so we have another year of the game actually being functional if you already own it so with them recognizing that it's going to go down they brought the price down to five dollars and then it's a dollar for each piece of dlc content we'd like to thank our community for the dedication they've shown to friday the 13th the game and gun interactive as a whole we're happy the game will live on a while longer and continue to be enjoyed by anyone owning the game already bad times but it's time to play and i didn't really think that much of this game when i initially had gotten it i thought maybe you know it'd be a couple instances where you know i'd play it and i'd be done with it but it turns out i have hundreds of hours on the game now the very very special thing about friday the 13th is that the game just doesn't feel that serious it doesn't really take itself seriously all the characters are like super goofy and it's just off rip just a really goofy somewhat shitty looking game but then when you get into it and realize how fun that goofiness actually makes everything it transforms into this completely different game than i assume what the uh, developers even actually actually thought and intended the game would be their vision you know because i give props to gun i love what they did with this game i love how fun and you know goofy it is whether that was their intention or not but games like dead by daylight not to take anything away from them they seem to be a bit more competitive they seem to be a bit more serious so when you get onto the game you're immediately bogged down with this feeling of seriousness Whereas this game feels almost like a party game. So it's just that party game feeling versus a game that is trying to be serious in a genre of games where, in my opinion, it shouldn't feel like it should be that serious. I mean, if you're good at Dead by Daylight, I'm sure that that's fun. But I don't feel like the casual person would pick up a game like Dead by Daylight and then just, like, assume and think in their head that they have to be competitive. That honestly is a little bit of my worry with Gun's next game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, while I was playing it, it's fun and it's goofy and everything, but I do worry that they're gonna really just focus on a lot of balance and stuff like that as opposed to fun if that makes sense now, obviously i'm gonna play texas chainsaw massacre i had a blast playing it but the funny moments on this game are straight up unmatched it's unstoppable last night i tried to get into the game just to see if it worked i reinstalled the game and everything and when i was trying to connect to the servers it just kept saying that uh the server was offline or that uh, the connection timed out or whatever it is the database wasn't available or something but i just kept clicking retry 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 because everywhere i looked there were people complaining about that but there are also people still playing i retried like around 10 times and immediately I got into the game this time around I booted it up and I had no problem but last night the connectivity was odd this game has a long and tragic story to be honest realistically Friday the 13th as a franchise has a very unlucky and just stupid fucking timeline to be honest a game as beloved and just categorically not even taken that like Friday the 13th movies are not scary you're just there to watch Jason that's what I really love about like these horror icon type of there's really no fear associated with the actual main character Character. You just want to see the character that the movie is named after. You just want to see him do anything. And unfortunately, with all their, you know, uh, rights arguments back and forth and the copyright stuff, they, over the years, just have made it so the people that do enjoy Friday the 13th as a franchise, as a whole, in any medium. This is why it sucks that he's not seen more often, because of their argument. Now, I don't know if things are settled now. Apparently, there's a rumor going around that there is a new Friday the 13th game coming out. But again, it's not made by Gun, and it honestly, it's more likely that it'll just be shit. Now, I'm excited about any Friday the 13th game. Don't get me wrong. I'll try them out. But I imagine that the next Friday the 13th game that they try will probably not be like this. And if it is, again, they're just going to hit that whole too serious kind of feeling it's just not gonna work it is insanely hard to recreate a game like this you can sit there and create it in every which way that you want but there's only so much that like it's just so stupid walkie talkie but i remember early in this game where you could actually team kill each other they ended up getting rid of it because people were just so toxic with it now, i'm not gonna sit here and act like i wasn't too but i only returned the energy that was given to me the one game i did get into last night i ended up actually rolling jason immediately and the lobby was just filled with absolute monsters as survivors they're just running around super confident baiting and knowing exactly where they can go and what they can do and shit we need your her head looks like it's about to come off of her neck she hasn't killed anyone yet so that's something another walkie-talkie uh everyone's surrounding the car up there maybe i should go over there wait someone died oh jason's on his way over there yeah he's doing his thing i don't know if i should go over towards them or i should just keep searching these houses maybe i can just get on the boat and dip. everybody is just traveling up there right, maybe i'll just go towards everybody else fuck it why not oh he killed somebody else i'm fucked i'm fucked i'm honest i'm fucked 
What do you mean you're fucked? I'm not the fucking guy. Come inside, man. Come on. Yeah, there you go. What's up? You good? Trying to just like recover in this spot, but I don't even know where I'm going. That was awful. I mean, what are we doing in here though? We have anything done? We got the gas over here. The main building is over there. All right, I'm coming guys. What are these guys doing in here? What the fuck? Dude, I remember when people were team killing. That shit was so toxic. It was crazy annoying. I remember I would come back as Tommy Jarvis and instead of using the shotgun to save people, I'd come back and kill the motherfucker that killed me. I'd come back and blast their ass with it. What the fuck? He's trying to trap him in here. This is trolling, man. You're trolling. Dude, why is everyone like this? He's not letting him out. Dude, let him out. It's so troll. I hate this shit. He can't get out. Should we go get the uh, gas canister or what? All right, let's go. <gasps> fuck! I, I forgot that my character does that. Oh, this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Okay, the gas doesn't go there. False alarm. I'm sorry. The rock, man. You are such a bad Jason. You are dog shit. Absolutely zero talent. No one's doing any objectives at all. Tommy is only here because I've actually managed to do the one valuable thing in just using the radio. What's this guy doing? What? It this guy went AFK and Jason missed multiple grabs on a target standing still. Is he stuck or some shit? No! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tommy. Like, this guy's just hiding under a bed. They don't even know how much time is left. He's looking for them. He's walking through every- Nope, oh, that's not it. He's checking all the beds. Oh, shit. He's checking all of them. Here comes the next one. He's dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Ow. I'm sorry, Jordan. That's just not usually the way you want to go. All right, Tommy's just going to drive away. He got the car working by himself. Amazing. Go ahead, Tommy. Where's the other guy at? Okay, Jason's trying to stop the car. It's just Tommy, man. You should have driven backwards. Tommy, no! Oh! Oh! They got folded. So I ended up finishing the campaign on Diablo. I also ended up collecting every single altar, the Lilith statue altar things. That's like a hundred plus of them. I was sick. So happy it's done with them. I'm the type of person that likes to do one of the most tedious and annoying things first, because while everybody else is trying to gather the basics of things, I'd rather just do something that like the main thing that people don't want to do at all. Is this a usual strat that people use now? This is something rare. Like I've seen people that have hid, that have tried to hide the entire time, but they would usually pick like a stealth character just crouch around the map forever. Vanessa is not a stealth character. Got a minute left. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, he checked the wrong thing. Wait, there's no way. No way! Is there something that I'm not understanding? How didn't he see them? What? This guy's trying to do teleport grabs and shit, but he doesn't see people just standing in a corner. He's trying to do high-level shit, but missing literally all basics. I remember how much people were arguing about whether or not team killing should be in the game because it is a survival horror game. Too many instances where people were just straight up team killing. I remember at one point I told the devs to literally just try to play their own game in just a random public match. And I guarantee you're going to get team killed by somebody. I remember there was a video where I ended up getting team killed by somebody that thought that I was running around with keys or something in my pocket. They killed me and then I didn't have keys or anything, even though I was telling them I did not have keys. They thought I was trolling. So because of the amount of trolling that was happening, it would cause other people that weren't even trying to troll to actually troll. I remember people were saying shit like, oh, I'm not going to come back to this game. I'm not going to play it ever again because you removed team killing. You got rid of the survival aspect. People doubling down, getting mad over stupid shit. It seems to be a trend when people's toxic behaviors finally get checked and they have like a screaming, shouting, pouting match with literally themselves and the voices in their head. I remember when they added the small maps as well. I didn't even realize how many moments were in here. I'm thinking of like of all these funny moments, but I didn't even think I remembered all of these like updates and other stuff like that. I remember how everything changed. And they were adding new maps and stuff like that. I remember with like Uber Jason and stuff like that was super rare to see at the time. Or the uh, Savini Jason, I mean. We never got Uber Jason in here. I think there were mods for Uber Jason, but I don't think we ever got an Uber Jason. UFC event tomorrow, I'll probably talk about it. Uh, Nunez Aldana is a main event. Aldana could go with the upset, but it's a foregone conclusion that people think that, you know, Amanda will win. So much so to where people don't even like watch the interviews and shit like that. It's just a foregone conclusion that she is just going to destroy anybody she sees. But that's what I like tuning in for. I love this shit. Oliveira Dariush, I mean. F 
that fight is pretty much impossible to predict. I, it's weird. I see it going both ways, like, really easily. I can see a world where Charles manages to just put Benil away within the first round, and then there's other moments where I see Benil, because he's not afraid of the grappling threat, he will absolutely follow him to the ground if he hurts Charles, and he's capable of hurting Charles. People don't talk about Benil striking enough, but he is dangerous as fuck. Like, everyone thinks that he's just, like, a grappling guy or whatever, and there's not a ton of hype about him, but Benil is legit as fuck. That fight against Gamrot really opened my eyes. I thought Gamrot was gonna be the new age. I thought he was just gonna crush him. I was sitting here screaming, new age, everyone's gonna get crushed by Gamrot and Sarukian and Demir and all these guys. And all those guys got humbled pretty much at this point. But yeah, Friday the 13th is here. It's literally $5 and then any DLC and stuff that you wanna get, which is like skins and other things like that. This game genuinely has a special place in my heart and is definitely one of the more fun times I've ever had making content on my channel. It's super weird and kind of off-putting when you really look at it for a long period of time. But that's the charm about this game. This game is just, there's no other game like it. I wouldn't have it any other way.